What's up guys? Welcome back to another cast of the Rise of the Witch King patch 2.02 version 7. This is your broadcaster Farron and today's matchup is going to be a 1 versus 1 on the map for device since we're returning to it after a little bit of a hiatus with two different maps that were uh, not uh, for devising the most popular one versus one map but anyway we are back out the zoom out file and we're going to go right into it spawning in the northwest as the purple goblins it is going to be may Shadowfax himself and in the southeast spawning in as the royal green isengard is going to be asba or excuse me asba apostrophe uh it's like uh, may Shadowfax. i'm gonna go for that scouting power of the uh, back cloud I'm gonna use it to try and spot his opponents but I figure out what he's gonna go for see his opponent's gonna go for that clan setting gonna go for a wildman st spam start Whereas goblins don't have much other option to start with in a one versus one other than the uh, the goblin uh, cave spam. You could potentially go for a spider pit, be my most likely option in this matchup, especially if your opponent is going for this. You need to go for your own goblin spam of your own. Uh, another furnace coming up. It's going to be a little bit delayed, as you can see, as that clan setting is going to be expensive, building only with 600 resources. A uh, little bit expensive if you ask me, but it is uh, very much worth it as you can uh, spam off of uh, that. Uh, do you need to have to get your Urk pit up quickly so you can keep your uh, your army supported with the, the, them being supported these units will quickly die off and you'll be left with no real serious protection in your base now a second goblin cave going up for mage shadow effects uh, I hope you did enjoy those last two casts it is a little bit of a rocky thing as the actually that last cast I don't know if y'all caught it but I did uh, accidentally call Maddie's Mercs mage shadow effects as that first time I did cast it I was calling Mage Shadow Facts, uh, or Maddie's Mercs Mage Shadow Facts the entire time, and I was like, at the end, I was like, this is calling for a recast. So I took a little bit of a break and I went back to it. I think I got a recast. I feel like it was a very good recast, if you do ask my, the boost system myself. Uh, some Goblin Wars coming out now. Third Goblin Cave going up for Mage Shadow Facts here. So while I've been now in the field from the clan setting of. You know, excuse me, I had to remember the name Asba Apostrophe, but I'm just going to call him Asba, even though his name is Asba Apostrophe. Uh, as Asba Apostrophe is a mouthful. So you have May versus Asba. Let's try and go with his different name for May Shadow Facts. I've always said May Shadow Facts. It's always been a serious mouthful. But as well, I'm actually going to try and gauge with the Goblin Warriors over here of uh, May. May uh, actually going to ignore them and go straight across the field, but there's going to be more wild than two intercept. These people need to turn around and go back over to do some rest of their own. We're going to be chosen as the five power point for May over here, or excuse me, for Asba. This is going to have them split up. One of them is going to try and go, but it's our fire points if you go. As you can see with the, uh, another war chant, and you did see earlier on the back card was chosen for May Shadow Facts there. But the Goblin Wars thing and try and slide around the side right here. But more Goblin Wars after these three Goblin Caves now. Some Goblin Archers actually chosen as a quick unit, as those Goblin Archers will be quite effective against these Wildmen, as they, even though they're weak archers, they are still effective against a weak unit. A second clan standing going up for. Asba over here, so he's going for a double clan setting spam over here. Why don't they get those wildmen spamming all around his opponent's base? You need to get that harass going on. So there's the burp, it had to happen. We have a fourth goblin cave, gonna be going up for uh, May here, as he really wants to go for a lot of goblin spam here. He's gonna have to counter his opponent's goblin spam. Actually, gonna be a ward pick going up for Asba here. That's going for a womble combo that I always love to see. Is gonna be the harass start pretty much for Isengard. With the, I don't know, I don't recall that uh, ever to have these uh, second clan setting. But if you go for the clan setting and then the warp pit, you can easily uh, have those wildmen start good at harassing them. the warp packs with their howl and your quick, fast unit moving units they can go around and start harassing your opponent's base quite effectively. However, it is a very uh, fragile start there as you need to be careful that you urk pit up and you don't uh, rely on it too much. You need to get your pit up, get the need to get those urk high and your crossbows. You need to be checking out of that quite soon as it can get your opponent on the back foot as far as the ego goes. But as soon as you get that back foot, you need to be taking out of it. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting on your opponent it, while your opponent gets himself back up and gets himself uh, his tech back up, and he will be have the advantage over you. So Goblin Warriors here for May going to be sitting down, not really doing anything. I think they're just hiding there for a second there. Here comes Asla and May going to have engagement at the uh, western banks of the fort here. The Wildman going to be have to deal with the uh, Steve up on them from the back cause as well as the poison blades. The po Goblin Archer is going to be taking a little bit of damage here, preliminary from the Wildman coming in their faces there. But the Wildman just not able to do anything damage here. These Wildmen not really going to do anything. Might want really to go in. I might have actually gotten a, a tunnel there, I'm not sure. Uh, these tunnels, these caves, however, are going to be quite susceptible to these Wildmen as they do have, I believe, the same armor set as a resource building. So they will be going down quick, quick, quickly if the Wildmen do get in front there. I can see two more Wildmen. It's going to be Nimble and Simple going in. Ballsy, but they want to take out these Goblin Archers, but I think they're going to end up going down. I'm not sure if they can even take one, one Archer there to the face for Nimble, and Timble goes like down behind him. You do have more Wildmen, however, and the war, actually, war packs going on for 
Uh, as you're going straight up at level two warp bit, and it's gonna be a good counter to his opponent's uh, goblin team. Although with such a small number, I don't think it's gonna be very effective. Level two for this goblin archer battalion, almost level three. Uh, these three uh, wildmen gonna go down quickly as they're trying to work down this tunnel over there. Has been rebuilt, but it's not gonna go down in time. The goblins may not gonna go around the backside over here up as it is, but the warp packs. Gonna move to intercept. Need to be careful to clip the, the side of them, not to get the whole clump and get caught up in them. But you can take, I think, half most of one battalion there. But it looks like May taking commanding lead as far as uh, unit uh, capacity, or at least unit uh, retention. Or I'm using the wrong words. As far as having units in the field. One day I'll figure out the right word for that. I uh, do have Rally Call back up a cooldown for Azul, so you can potentially choose to use that if he did have the ability to go up for a tunnel, but he doesn't have any at the moment. He should be defending his base and engaging on the Western Bank of the Ford once again. Here comes more Warp Riders for Azul. May is at three power points, whereas Azul is at three as well, but May has uh, got about a quarter power point advantage over his opponent there, so it's really just neck and neck. Uh, the Gallant are going to use their poison and arrows on these Warp Riders, and they're going to be taking, uh, I think it's six seconds per a tick there. Or per second there, or six damage per second. I'm not sure which it is, but they're gonna be taking some damage over time. And I think you're gonna lose one warp right there, especially a second one to those poison arrows. Uh, they're gonna try and go around with it. They do have the relic of the howl uh, buff on them, which does give them that 50% damage and armor. I was saying, I might have been thinking at 1.09, where if you cast your howl, you do end up having a loss of armor, but in, in two, version 2.2, version 7, they don't, there's no disadvantage to casting your howl. As it is very powerful indeed to have a free rally call on your war rush and war pack. Uh, as the sitting on four power points now, or excuse me, uh, May sitting on four power points here. Actually five now, whereas Asba is sitting on four and a half, so uh, May not taking a, a half point a power point lead, because his power points are very effective and very important in this game. You do have the Warg Riders, and they're finally going to have those poison uh, areas going to go off of them, but uh, they're going to cool off of them, but then the Warg Riders are going to be in a little trouble, need to be your retreat. going to be a Tain Land Summon going down now for me to have access to this five, second five power point. Level three for this goblin archers there, but they're going to get all get trampled by these warp riders, going a little bit in the wrong way, going straight into the middle, they're taking a lot of damage from the goblin warriors with their poison blades. As they charge right into the middle of the clump and get caught up in them, but do all the deceleration there, they're not really going to be able to get out. Especially with the Goblin Warriors, they're just so fast a unit because they can pretty much, uh, if, if you're not careful with your cavalry, if you've got slow cavalry, the cavalry pretty much get trapped in the Goblin Warriors forever as they chase them down. These more and more wires coming in for Asda there. Asda not taking into a, think, a, a level 2 uh, clan center here. Doesn't have an orc pit though either. He really needs to get this orc pit up so he can continue to support these troops. These troops, once again, are very flimsy indeed, even against the goblins here, who are very flimsy on their own, as the goblins do have the poison blades, as well as the archers in the backside to reinforce there. Spiderlings down the field for May Shadow Effects uh, after four goblin caves. He's going to be having those on the field to go and harass. Uh, or maybe he's just looking to engage in the middle here. There's going to be more spider coming on the field, as well as a level 2 spider pit coming on the way, so he wants those uh, spider raiders to counter the wildman spam for his opponent there. But I really feel like Asda here needs to be qu qu quickly teching into either axe throwers here, or really should be getting an earthquake up so he gets uh, his infantry protection going. Uh, the wildman going to be engaging with the goblin wars once again, but Asda just not able to make any ground with May's troops there, just glomerate on the Tain land, and just being higher tiered than his opponent there with the poison ability on them. More troops for May moving down the south side of the river over here. Whereas there is a w wildman over here. I think he's going to try and stealth in the trees potentially would be a good choice for him. But it's not actually going to go back and probably engage these forces here. But as was sitting with not much in the way of uh, harassing going on here. Actually, May not really being touched at all. Having this one furnace or one tunnel and there's two tunnels taking a little bit of preliminary damage. But I think they're going to survive. And not much being done for as far as harass here. These war are going to be taunting. This uh, cave troll over here, but it'd be a good choice not to engage with the cave trolls. It'll easily eliminate them. It looks like uh, Mishavak is now going to go and take out this uh, the warrior in the bend of the river on Asma's side of the river. It looks like they actually did take out the one on the other side of the river as well. And there's another burp. So many burps just all the time. I do apologize for that, but you do have these Goblin Warriors now going to be trying to engage with a large force of wild men here, and I think it's going to be a good choice, good show of how the wild men are inferior to the Goblin Warriors just because of the poison blades. However, the poison blades are not off the cooldown, but with the backside debuff, I think the, the wild men will be going down anyway. But the Warg Warriors are now going to try and camp all these Goblin Warriors, so the Spartans are going to come in, and they are very carried to counter the cavalry here, because the cavalry do are unable to outrun them. Uh, the Spartans are going to chase them down, and the Warshank going to go down on the, wild, uh, the troops of Asda here, and so it's going to force the engagement off for May, but it's not really going to be a huge victory there. 
You can see a wall hub was leader there. As the strategy is, if you do have a builder, you need to spam. Uh, you get a wall hub going up to save the builder. As the wall hubs are very difficult to d destroy with a, a melee troops. Even harder with archers, as archers deal basically no damage versus buildings unless they have an upgraded arrow. Spider is now in the field. However, Forme gonna push across the forward here, but he needs to be careful as he doesn't want to engage really with too many troops. There are some crossbows on the field, however, for uh, Asbos. He does have finally his orc up as he think he was building, uh, pulling a builder back. But this furnace right here, we're gonna be halfway to level three almost now. It's been uh, sitting a lot, and as the thing on all three of his initial farms, we should have uh, Mesh Havoc sitting on only two of his initial farms. Actually, one of them did go down, I believe. Uh, to those wild men. So as uh, having a bit of an eco advantage over there as well as the Eisner eco is so strong. As you will hear destroyer saying Eisner eco is so strong and it is really just very strong. Uh, the spider links and the spider is not even have to retreat with the forces of Eisner now pushing across with the wild men. I'm surprised they managed to hold their own but the war riders I think really are turning the tide here and being able to counter these spider riders which will easily counter trample all these wild men. But the, now the spider is not really using you need to get in there and trample all these troops. As there all these trampable troops, oh, just wild men, the crossbows, no pikes in sight. Uh, actually, I don't think, uh, finally some pikes been being produced by Asba here. But actually going to be, I think, a hero on the field for Asba. It's going to be Sharku. So he's going for that cavalry hero. Uh, since that opponent doesn't really have much in the way of cavalry counter as goblins there. Goblins, you think about it, don't really have uh, much in the way of the counter cavalry. They have the half tour mirage, but don't deal revenge damage. They only just decelerate their opponents and deal the pike damage in their melee attacks. Uh, and then you have versus flyers. They only have the spider riders and the goblin archers there. Not really much in the way of counter there. A lot of it's still going on these goblin archer line right over here for uh, Mage Havoc. So maybe able to get a good uh, pickup there. I think I must have units there. So the spider is going to come in and take out all those units from afar. Uh, I think it actually was a Gorkle on the field potentially. Or maybe I'm just, uh, I think it was actually just a summon there. I thought it was the skull totem uh, land uh, texture there. But it was just this, the uh, summon of the woman there. Uh, Asma's sitting on uh, his 10 power points as well as 2 5, so he's sitting on that, plus his 2 power points, sitting on 22 power points. Whereas Major Artifact is sitting on all 3 5 as well as 6 power points, so he's sitting on 21. So uh, Asma now sitting with a, uh, I think, a 3 quarters uh, power point lead there. Kind of a big pickup there, a good play for him. Uh, also sitting on his 10 power point over his opponent, where his opponent has only gone for all 3 of his 5 as well as 6 power points. Uh, the pikes are going to be a good counter to these spider rares, and the spiders are going to be having to go off elsewhere. Actually, going to try and uh, range this cave troll from afar in their bow mode. But they need to be careful as the patrol is now aggroed and they're coming towards them. They're taking him out, but he's still dealing a lot of damage. He's going to be able to take a lot of these, uh, a lot of these spider rares before he can get taken out. And now he's in rage mode, and most of the spider rares are going to go down for uh, Mage Shadowfax here. I think that's not the best play with the spider rares there, especially if they can easily kite the troll with their speed. The war is going to get caught up a little bit in these uh, goblin uh, warriors as they keep going straight through them. Finally, I think going through the, the middle over here, getting out the other side for Asma here. Going to get trampled a lot of them, or get a lot of them trampled. Uh, the wild men and the pikes now going to be doing some more harass. Going to try and do snacks and commit some war crimes there. I think there's a lumber mill that just went down for uh, mid shadow effects, and the war crimes commit galore. All these laborers are just going to have nowhere to go, nothing to do. Actually, two spiderlings over here are going to be level two. It's a good pickup there. He wants to get those harassers around to the other side of the map and the harassing and get them to level up. Actually, a single goblin warrior over here, King Hubbletut. If any of you have ever seen Rude Devil's videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about with King Nimble and Timble and uh, King Hubbletut. He's going to be wailing away at this furnace over here. And as I think is not going to be able to, not going to do anything about it. He's just doesn't worry about that single unit. Uh, it looks like the warg riders of. Uh, Sharku and the boys are going to be roaming around, but the spiderlings, you can see, are easily able to outrun these troops and keep dealing damage. But once the Warg Riders do turn tail, or turn, turn around and start dam uh, fighting them, they can easily work them down. Uh, Sharku is at the level 3, does have that Bloodhunt ability, so these troops are going to be double buff with their Howl as well as the uh, uh, Bloodhunt leadership ability. These spikes in the wild, they're going to take another tunnel here. So some good risk going on for Asma over here. Asma sitting on, or may, may sitting on only two of his uh, level 2 far farms still over here. But he does have two level twos, I believe. Actually, only one level two over here. Uh, another level two right over there. Uh, but he's losing his armor mills as well as his other eco. As a base, however, is not really being touched. Sitting on all three of his uh, furnaces now. Uh, this one almost level three, and these other two level three. So he's got quite a high, high eco advantage over his opponent. This one going to be uh, level two. Uh, I don't think these ones have set up for very long, as he's been touched for a lot there. Uh, this one actually almost level two. Spider, spider legs not going to be going around to do some rest. As these wildmen are trying to take out this 
uh, this war glare, but I think it's gonna be a spider. It could be uh, potentially. It could have been a, a creep steal for uh, the spiderlings of May, but May not gonna be able to get those creeps, the creep money, and the troops are gonna continue on their way. May, however, with a lot of goblin troops, a lot of them gonna be goblin archers, gonna be moving around trying to take out these units. I uh, think it might want to get those clumped up in an area so they can do as much damage as possible without being in a serious clump that are easy to take out with the uh, war warriors over here. These goblin warriors actually are gonna be golem in the mix of all right here. Golem gonna take a lot of damage. It's gonna go down. The ring is picked up by these pikes right over here. And the ring has been dropped. There is a ring on the field, and then once you get that ring, you can purchase a ring here, which will be either Sauron for the forces of darkness or Galadriel for the forces of light. But as you can see, there's only two forces of darkness factions on this field. No forces of light, so Sauron will be the ring here chosen if the opponent does go for the opponent does go for that. However, I don't know if he will have the resources to do so. As the however does, I think he has the resources to go for the uh, armory. Wants to get those upgrades going, whereas at, uh, Mason is up here trying to create this war up in the north as he's going for that uh, third and f uh, final creep sale or creep. Uh, now pushing on the south side as well with the uh, level two archers, some more archers, and then the spiderlings going to try and take out this. Uh, Harassing troop from Asba. As Asba has pushed forward. I think he might have stolen the creep uh, for from May here on the well, troll, but no one's taking the in over here. I think it's kind of a mistake on both sides, uh, as Asba really needs that, that that in over there for the black orcs. But for his part, May needs to get the in to keep his opponent from getting it. The corsairs in this matchup, I don't think they're going to be quite effective. They do have the firebomb ability, but I don't think the firebomb is going to be that effective unless his opponent continues to use these wildmen instead of going for the uh, very powerful Urukai in his uh, melee units. As I think, as I was really focusing on getting the eco down of May over here. May now getting a fissure up, so he wants to get those half kills going. Pretty could be actually going for some siege now, because with all these troops, he eventually try pushing with just a siege. There's going to be going down, Shaku charging through all these units. We're taking a little bit of fi air fire. And these troops are going to be armored against him with the chain land. Taking a little bit more damage, I don't think it's going to be enough. He's going to continue trampling. Might want to get out of there though before he just takes too much damage. He's, going to be he's almost down to half health there. The spider is going to charge right into the pikes over there. Kind of a bad, big mistake there, losing themselves into the uh, the tips of the spears. Or excuse me, the tips of the pikes. But these the spider is actually going to have to work down these pikes from afar. The pikes are not focused on them, and the pikes are just trying to take on the level three farm and not going to be enough. And the spider is actually going to take on pikes and win, something you don't see every day. So, another uh, little tidbit you can see there is pikes can destroy, or pikes can be killed by spiders, or excuse me, cavalry there. Shark right now, less than half health on the run, up to level 5, that does have that Tan the Beast experience ability for the warg riders. Uh, a lot of warg riders at home there. Uh, I think it's three battalions here. Well, one of them, though, is actually all three of them are level two, so they do have that regen ability. And Sharkley and the boys is ready to go, but Sharkley is just really not. The spider is going to go and the spider is going to charge it down. Sharkley there, need, he wants to get the hero work down, but there comes the spider, the work bar to counter him. Sharkley, however, taking a lot of damage, needs to get out of there. He needs to get up and uh, hold ground stance. There's a weapon summon by Asma trying to protect the spiderlings that are scattering. They might be able to get down to Sharkley. Sharkley taking a lot of more poison damage. Uh, really low health, but I think he will be safe at home. These spikes, however, uh, not in porcupine formation, but you're going to be in hold ground formation, taking a lot of damage, but these uh, capitals taking a lot of damage themselves from the port pikes themselves. You still have in the half drum where I was coming off of this fissure. Uh, no teching up as you just got in the building. You don't have anything, but you actually have a level 3 uh, spider bit. Actually, as you can see, you just love the spider bit by the little uh, cocooned beings there from the, the uh, I believe, the Biff Me 1 campaign. Uh, when you were in the shields there you had to free either free the uh, troops uh, for Frodo or free the, the Urks for Gollum th there using either Sting or Shelob I believe you do have the, now the large cavalry army for Asma here going to champion all these Orc archers along with the help of Sharku as the leadership and it's going to be Sharku and the boys doing one work Whereas you have the pikes here and the wildmen engaging with a large amount of goblins here from May here. I feel like it's kind of a clash of these spamming units. I think the goblins will have her come up top with the uh, archers on the backside. These are using those uh, poison blades there. But here comes actually the shark and the boys coming to the backside. The diva going to be going down on them from the back cloud. But the back from the back cloud. But I don't know, don't know if it's going to be enough there. Actually, the spider legs and the spider bear is now moving around. To take out this. Uh, Important for is going to be almost level three, halfway to level three, and actually going to do, commit some war crimes quickly to these, uh, trying to take out these lumber uh, or these laborers before they can take out the trees and get back home. 
But I'm not sure what is going on here. He's kind of fooling about. He finally going to get back to try and take out his level 3 furnace. He's going to take a lot of damage though. And there comes the upgrades on the troops of Azza there. As he's going to have those war Warcriers come in to deal with all these troops there. Uh, the first taking a lot of damage I think is going to be enough. He's going to be able to take out these spider rings on its own. Actually, this furnace right over here has been hit to level 2. Almost half of level 3. So it's been sitting up for quite a while. And Azza has been not really harassed that much at all. Not really expanding too much, expanding a little bit to the north, but nothing to the the west over here. Really sure we would like to see him do a little bit of that. As far as heroes to go, I feel like Mace FX could really invest in a hero of his own. He does have the back on the field, but there's a hero on the field, but he will time out. He doesn't have any heroes. He really needs to get either Azog or Gorkul. Potentially could see if he has the cash of she on the field to be a good counter to this cavalry right here. Actually, going to be four battalions now, all in level two with the upgrades. I think all the upgrades off of the level two. Uh, siege uh, armory is only have uh, level two, but it does have all the upgrades there. The cavalry going to go through and getting a lot of experience, I think, off of the scavenger now for Mishad effects. And Mishad effects now sitting with the Wild well, Summon, the, sp uh, the Spattling Summon, as well as the uh, scavenger, whereas Asma does have the, uh, the Devastation uh, resource gathering ability. As you can cast it in any area and get, I believe, up to 2,000 resources. I'm not sure what the limit is on how much you can get. But Asma's sitting on 12 power points, 13 power points, whereas uh, May is only sitting on 7 there. So a large disparity there, but you do have the five extra 5 power points that May did, or May did purchase there. So I believe that, believe that does pretty much make up for that gap there. And if May puts the, gap, the, uh, the deficit between them is going to be a very minimal amount, still neck and neck. But this level 3 for, uh, tunnel is still sitting up for May Shadow Effects. And the cavalry now for Asba, or excuse me, Mesh Out of X, going to be looking to go around. Should we go in for some more harass? As Asba's really not been touched at all. He's, now he, Asba has his 15 power point, another one, or actually a 15 power point. He has the uh, Fuel of the Fire's ability, which will be using, uh, which will be bonusing or benefiting any sort of level rules he has in his area. And help them re uh, leveling up and a lot more resources from that. Uh, level 3 now for this ward pit. I'm not sure if that's the. Most important upgrade he needs to make, but he does have a level two in the one of his clan settings now. Uh, he's only getting those actions, I think, out in the field. You do have, however, these uh, upgrade pike now engaging with the goblins, going to be able to easily win out, I think, over here. And this is with the wargwires of Sharku coming in on the back side, going to train with them all. The spiders are going to come and try to take them out, but the, the war Sharku in the bush needs to be able to turn around and take out all these units. And the pike's now right in the front. The, the spider is going right through them, and I think they're going to take a lot of damage there. Uh, not really taking too much, actually, a lot less than I would think there would be. But the Spiderlings now three battalions in the base of Asbab here. Going to try and work down some of these furnaces, but they really need to focus on these uh, level two ones. Actually, this one level three, so now Asbab is sitting on four level three furnaces. This going to be a huge equal advantage for him. Almost on another a fifth for level four, or level three. So this is going to be the Bob and Summon. Uh, may have that award champ, but he does not have it off the cooldown. I don't think so. I see he does. He needs to use it on these troops as they're going to be taking these furnaces at ease. But he needs to get them up, uh, buffed up so they can take out as many as possible. Uh, needs to be using the, uh, the, all these level 3 furnaces. You can see this one over here. He needs to be taking out. needs to get his opponent's eco down as fast as possible. Now, as was engaging in the front with these uh, Urkai, almost level 4 now. They've been taken out for quite a while with a hold ground stance and the armor. They just take so much damage, but the poison damage will just deal damage over time. And so it doesn't really matter with the armor there. Uh, you hear the spider rays in the backside. You can deal with this battalion right over here as well. Uh, trying to take it out finally. But the pikes need to get in front in there. And I think they're not going to be able to get any hits off on these spider riders. The spider riders feel they're going to be dying in a very lovely fashion. As they do, do a nice little flip and toss their spear up in the backside. Kind of like the battle wagon. How the, the battle wagon driver flies backwards when it does die. Uh, actually, level 2 for these uh, wildmen here, but I can go down to these goblin wars they do have the poison ways active on them. And now, Mishav is trying to boost, trying to boom his economy over here. Get a lot of uh, lumber mills going to this eco hub over on his northern side of the river. Some uh, lumber mill on the back side over here, but nothing over in this area over here. I think it might have gotten taken out as there are some trees that you can see knocked down. Uh, you do have Sharkman the boys taking out another tunnel over there. Sharkman the boys really getting a, a lot of experience for as over here and getting a lot of those power points that he does need. But they just have to be worried about the uh, half from Mirage that did came over here. They're going to be actually a spider like someone going down, I think, right in front of the base of as uh, over here. However, these need to be used to, uh, to take out these furnaces. So this one is a, uh, a mere a few seconds away from being level 3. Uh, as the did lose one of those level 3 furnaces, uh, very important, but as I still have uh, three more as well as almost a fourth one. You had the Wadman Summon going down on the troops of Mesh Athax over here. The Axe is going to be quite effective. And actually, 
you do have this furnace now going up to level 3, but the spiderlings are going to find it after taking out one furnace over here. It's going to take a lot of damage. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though, as the axe as well as the uh, packs are going to be there doing a lot of damage to these spiderlings. It's going to be another furnace going up there. So as we're continuing to replace it, I think he loses. But I think his furnace will go down. A level 3 furnace is going to be lost for Asbus. So he's sitting on now only 2 there. Oh, excuse me, level th or excuse me, 3. Uh, however, I say only 3. That's gonna, still going to be quite a lot of... Uh, uh, still be quite a lot there. You have actually the Creepy debuff. I didn't see it, but it's going to be up purchased for Asbel. It's going to be debuffing all these uh, Goblin troops in the area. Uh, still level 1 for this Fissure. I feel like it would be good to take up for Mage Shadowfax over here, but I'm not sure if he really has the eco support as he's not really able to expand it out. Or expand out. He hasn't been able to have his re uh, eco level up that much. He has, still has the two level 3 hit tunnels. Uh, this one. Howard did go down recently. It's, gonna, it's not going to be level 3, but this one is halfway to level 3, so potentially could see another level 3 channel for uh, May. It'll be a good pickup as he needs to get uh, that uh, backbone of his economy going. Shark and the boys now going over to this inn over here. Potentially going to take it out. One of these battalions up to level 4 now. It's quite impressive, actually. Uh, the builder coming there as well. Might want to be putting over. Uh, Production building over there, or potentially a lookout tower to just keep it from his opponent. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Uh, but it looks like Asbel is trying to push in here with the Axors on the upgrades, but with the backslap debuff, uh, I don't think it's going to be enough there. And the troops there are going to be victorious for Mitch effects. We have Sharkwind, the boys, going to be moving around, trying to take out all this Eagle over here. As these uh, Lumbers have been enough for a little bit of a time, they're going to be halfway to level 2, but they're going to go quite quickly. The spider eyes are trying to engage him. I feel like this is the wrong engagement. They don't want to engage with the other cavalry until they are leveled up. It's going to be now a dragon summon going down for uh, Asma there. It's going to be in the base of Mage Adamax. He's going to get on this 20 attack one. Going to burn some of those uh, goblin wars. I feel like that was a bit of a waste. He's going to be moving forward. Take that one goblin cave. He take out as many guys as well. As especially to take out this fissure over here. That's going to be a big uh, problem for him. Gonna, I think going to go for that level 3 uh, tunnel as well. The goblin cave is going to get that one as well. Uh, he's going to get two uh, buildings right there. Uh, is about a third of his time to use there. I think he's going to get two Goblin Caves well with a level 3 tunnel. Needs to go for another Goblin Tunnel. Needs to get this level 3 uh, gob, uh, Spider Pet down as well. Uh, but it looks like this is going to be a very big tripping point. As the doing a lot of damage to his opponent's infrastructure. Going to get the Fissure down, I think. As that fire... Uh, actually, for some reason, only one... Half of them were got out of the fissure there. I don't think any of them burned because they would have seen them flying away. Only one of the half of the Mirage managed to get out before the fissure did go down. So a little bit of a strength there. As that Dragon Summon now works down the level 3 uh, Spider Bit over here. I think he's going to get it down. And it will do so. Just that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be able to uh, take it out in time. Finish off all the building crop over here. But the builder also going to go down for Mage of X. So Mage of X, I hope, realizing these spider wires and their ability to do damage to the economy of Asba here. And I don't know if it's going to be enough as the dragon does leave, but the base of Mage of X has now been destroyed. Uh, there's going to be some, I think, some spiderlings painters going to go on on the fourth there. Trying to get something to defend the fourth there. But here comes the upgrade, uh, Urkai. Or the Eric Pikeman, you know, trying to take out the stuff in the fort. Just trying to try and take out the fort checks that going strike for the fort. Does he have the buff though? He really needs to use a buff on his troops there. He doesn't have it at off of standby there. Doesn't have lurk in the field at all. That's going to be a big uh, uh, problem later on when he doesn't want that leadership buff and doesn't have the alerts on the field leveled up. Asma now sitting still on this three level three furnaces there. But this one is now halfway to level three, so his economy has really not been harassed that much at all this game. He's lost a couple of big farms, other than that, they've not really done much, and they've been able to get to quite high level. Actually, the spider is not coming back in, going to be taking out, uh, doing a lot of damage. I think Shark is going to take a lot of damage. Might just go down here. Uh, however, all these Ur upgrade Urk, uh, uh, upgrade Ising, our troops going to be doing a lot of damage to the forces, and the forces of Bay Shadow is going to go down quite quickly. And without Mage FX, hopes are crushed in this game. He has no hope with only these two Goblin Caves, one of them being produced, one of them is still up to standby. With the Wildman level 3 with torches and the upgrade packs to take out one more, and Mage FX will end up losing this game. We'll lose it to Azure there quite quickly, actually. I don't think it was that long of a game. Kind of a little bit longer game there with these two players here. But it seems that Azure did get the advantage of his opponent there with that uh, quick. Um, with the quick. Uh, harass from his op uh, opponent on his opponent there with the uh, wild as well as the uh, war riders going around and doing some damage. 
So well played to him. I do apologize if it seems like I'm swallowing a lot and not really talking as my voice is really dry. I'm trying to cast three in one day. I think I'm going to end up changing that because it's just it's so taxing on my throat. Even though I don't really want to spend that many days a week casting, it might be a little bit too much to be casting this many in a row as it really does taxing on my uh, brain, especially on my throat. But anyway, I hope y'all did enjoy that cast. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to let me know down below. And if you while you're there, would you just have a like? If you're not watch if you're watching, and you're not already subscribed. I appreciate it if you did. And um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. This will be going up on uh, Thursday, I believe, for y'all. So you'll be looking for another uh, video on Friday. I'm not sure what's gonna be, but it'll be a secret until it happens. And until then, y'all have a great day. See y'all in the next one.